Greetings, fellow readers. I have some book reviews. I have four books laid out, and uh, more I'll be talking about in this video. And by the way, this is my actual voice. If you see my review for Death Race, the movie Death Race, I'm speaking in a slightly different manner, just for fun, that I thought I would just put my normal voice on uh, this video. It's a bit less interesting, I suppose, but it'll do. Okay, uh, I'm talking about some authors you may not have read or even heard of. These are uh, science fiction authors, and the first one I'm going to talk about is a man named Philip K. Dick. That's him right there. Uh, this is his biography, A Life of Philip K. Dick. And uh, you've probably seen some of the movies based on his books. Um, the most recent one released is called A Scanner Darkly, starring Woody Harrelson and Keanu Reeves, Winona Ryder, and uh, Robert Downey Jr. And it's a very unusual film in many ways, not only the plot, but also because it was animated, but they filmed it live action and then animated over it. So it looks quite strange. Very good film to watch. Um, hasn't uh, been seen by very many people, I don't think. Uh, you have to be into some strange stories to enjoy it, I think, also, but uh, worth checking out. Most of you have probably seen or at least heard of the movie Blade Runner, uh, which was based on Philip K. Dick's book called Do Androids Dream of Electronic Sheep? Or is it Electric Sheep? Anyway, uh, the book, I want to say, is very different from the movie. Uh, they changed the plot quite a bit for the Blade Runner film. Uh, other books based on Philip K. Dick's stories are uh, total... Excuse me, other movies based on Philip K. Dick's stories are Total Recall, uh, The Minority Report... Paycheck, and um, there's been a few others actually. There's been so many, it's hard to remember them all. You'll pardon me, it's 3.23 a.m., and I'm not all that sleepy, so this is what I do. I do reviews and uh, put stuff on YouTube. Uh, earlier this evening, I put up uh, three whistle videos, and now I'm doing a review just for fun. Passes the time until I get to sleep, which is around 5 a.m. Okay, um, I think it's safe to say that Philip K. Dick was certifiably insane. Uh, he was a very, very strange man, and uh, wrote a book called Valis, spelled V-A-L-I-S, which stands for Vast Active Living Intelligence System. And according to his biography, uh, the book Valis was a semi-autobiographical. Uh, it's a very strange science fiction book. I don't recommend starting on that one unless you want a major challenge. Um, it was not an easy read at all. Uh, it's narrated partially in third person and partially in the first person, and I won't explain why because I don't want to spoil the surprise. But uh, yeah, it was very, very strange. The man actually believed for real that somehow Jesus was a satellite or was beaming from a satellite, and this satellite called Valus orbiting our planet and shot a laser beam into his brain, to Philip K. Dick's brain, transmitting all these supernatural, scientific, and weird messages to him. Uh, yeah, so that's how far out the guy is. Um, I'd recommend starting out with one of his more well-known books. Uh, there's one called The Man in the High Castle, and it's sort of a speculative fiction piece. Uh, it's about what would happen if the Nazis and the Japanese had won World War II. What would life be like in the 1960s? Uh, mostly in California, and it starts out in uh, San Francisco, and uh, the Japanese occupy the West Coast, and the Nazis occupy the East Coast, and uh, the Rocky Mountain Range is sort of a uh, uh, free land, so to speak, because neither power wants that area. They don't have much use for it. But anyway, it's a very good uh, book to read. Quite odd. Um, another book is called The Divine Invasion. And as long as you're not really, really religious, you might really like it. Um, it's actually quite hard to explain. It's a science fiction story set way in the future. And basically, uh, Christ's sacrifice was not enough, so there had to be another one. Uh, and also, there is a devil in the story who's quite hidden and trying to stop the redemption of mankind. And uh, it gets very, very, very strange, and I'll leave it at that. I don't want to spoil it for you. Uh, again, that one's called The Divine Invasion. 
That was one of my favorite uh, Philip K. Dick books. Uh, another one is called Flow My Tears, The Policeman Said. Let me repeat the title. It's Flow My Tears, The Policeman Said. And it's about uh, life in a totalitarian society. A man who's very, very famous uh, newscaster wakes up one morning and no one knows who he is. He has no papers. Uh, you need to carry papers in society or else you don't get around. And so he has to go into the criminal underworld to uh, just survive. And it involves uh, hallucinogenic drug addiction and all kinds of crazy weirdness. So that one's also very good. Um, the third one is about the worst cover I've ever seen on a book. Yes, that's correct. Uh, there's a big shoe on the cover. Uh, this is the collect stories of Philip K. Dick, volume one. And uh, some of the best short stories I've ever read are in this book, surprisingly. Uh, the cover will probably look a little different uh, if you find one in the bookstore or the library. I'm guessing they changed the cover to something more you know, interesting besides a flying shoe. But anyway, very, very good stuff. Um, moving on to another author. I think his books are out of print now, unfortunately. But he's uh, brilliant. And these paperbacks are very beat up for a reason. Uh, the author's name is Daniel Keyes Moran. You can see that good. This book is called Emerald Eyes, as you can see. And uh, it's about uh, genetic engineering. Uh, super soldiers. Well, that's the idea, actually. They end up as telepaths. And uh, that's what Emerald Eyes is about. Uh, telepaths are mistakenly created. And then the government that tries to create them tries to destroy them. And... Uh, in this world that uh, Daniel Kiesmoyne has created, uh, it's set just a ways into the future, and it's after the Third World War. And since the French set out that war, they came in at the last minute, after just about everybody else was wiped out, and took over the world. So, it's a one-world government, and it's run by the French, surprisingly. Anyway, uh, there are three in the series, but I only like two of them. Uh, this second one is called The Long Run. Again, not the best cover, but who cares? Uh, this one is even better than Emerald Eyes. It's very, very, very good. And it's about a guy named Trent, who goes on the long run, which is all the way around the Earth, and uh, evading cyborg uh, troopers and other agents of the United Nations, which is also run by the French. Uh, I don't mean to be French bashing here, that's just how the story pans out. Uh, this guy goes all over the place, to the moon, everywhere. Uh, it's hard to make it sound interesting in just a little blurb video like this, but uh, trust me, it's an excellent book. Um, hopefully you can find these books uh, somewhere online, or at a used bookstore, maybe the library, I don't know. There is a third one in the series called The Last Dancer, I think it's called, but I didn't like that one, so I'm not going to recommend it. There is another book related to these others uh, called Armageddon Blues by Daniel Keyes Moran, and uh, that book is also excellent. And uh, it's even more trippy and unusual than the others. It involves uh, time travel and aliens and physics and immortals and all kinds of strange weirdness like that. So anyway, Armageddon Blues is also a fantastic read. So anyway, um, again, it's really hard to make these books sound exciting and original with only a few minutes to talk to you, but um, take my advice and uh, Check out these books by Philip K. Dick and uh, Daniel Keyes Moran, and hopefully you will greatly enjoy them. Thanks for watching and listening, and again, I hope you enjoy these books. Uh, good night for now. It's just about 3.30 a.m., and I think I'll shut down for the night and maybe try to get some sleep. All right, then.